We're hearing a lot about the integration of crypto and AI in recent months. And now we're learning that Coinbase has been getting in on the merging of the two much hyped technologies, reporting its first AI crypto transaction last week. I want to start off by asking you why executing a transaction like this was important for Coinbase. What was the goal exactly? Yeah. So first of all, what I'll say is AI and crypto is one of the hottest things in the industry and maybe even in the world right now. And I think there are a few reasons why crypto is such a great ecosystem for AI. One is, is that you let, you're allowed to program it. So you can say, if this, then this happens, which is a really powerful primitive for AI. Another big part of it is that you can set limits for AI. And the third part of it is that AI often can't have open a bank account. So crypto is a really, really great primitive for them. So what I'd just say is first, we think crypto is going to be the financial ecosystem and financial platform for AI. Then what gets really interesting is we started with AI and it was humans interacting with AIs. And so you can imagine a world where people are paying AI. You can also see a world where AIs are paying people. For example, you need to talk to 20 people to make an answer and summarize that down for a question that you got. This could be a really great example. This is what's happened so far in the past. But going forward, we're also seeing new types of behavior. So behavior like this is like Skyfire is a platform that's building AI agents. They can basically allow these AI agents to be able to talk to each other. So one AI agent may be super specialized. It may be a web crawler. It's looking at certain detailed information on the web, and then it's converting that and sending that to another AI agent that needs it. So the really powerful part about this is you have two AI agents. They need to communicate with each other, and then they need to pay for the information that one is sending to the other. And crypto is a really powerful platform for that. Expanding on what you just said, in an article shared on X on Friday, Coinbase CEO Brian Armstrong announced that the platform's first AI to AI crypto transaction is an important step to AI's getting useful work done. He noted that while AI agents cannot get bank accounts like you mentioned, they can get crypto wallets and can now use USDC on the L2 blockchain network developed by Coinbase called Base to transact with humans, merchants, and other AI agents. Can you take us through how this transaction worked exactly and if we can expect to see more AI crypto transactions now? Yeah, I think we'll absolutely see many, many more crypto and AI transactions. And in this specific example, we've been working and talking to Skyfire, which is a company that basically makes financial platforms for AI agents. And so what they had was they had two different AI agents. They needed to be able to, one was doing a very specialized set of things, which was crawling the web, and they need to talk to someone else that needed that information from the web crawling. And so these AI agents were able to like interact with each other, transact crypto between each other, the funny part about all this is that what they're transacting for is tokens, which is the raw information of what web crawling is able to create. Now, Armstrong pointed out that currently AI agents face limitations in completing tasks independently because of the lack of access to traditional financial tools like credit cards or payment methods for services like AWS or GitHub. However, he suggested that this new capability could allow AI to overcome these barriers. How is that possible exactly? Yeah, absolutely. First of all, it's not easy for an AI to go walk up to a bank and get an account. Um, and so as a result, crypto is an open, we've always talked about crypto as an open financial system, and AI is able to easily be able to access that. Two is it, it talks to, it's very easy to talk to machines in that they're APIs that any AI can be able to write um, that allow it to talk directly to the blockchain. But in addition to this, there's some other really interesting primitives here. You can do things like micropayments. You could send just a few cents if that's what you want to be able to do to send to a few users or a few thousand users. All of this is not possible with today's traditional banking system. And this is what crypto can allow for the AI um, ecosystem. What did this AI crypto transaction reveal? And now that it's out in the open, are you seeing demand for transactions like this? We're seeing a ton of demand for different AI transactions connected to crypto. And actually, we've already had builder grants that we have on Coinbase developer platform that we have multiple, many different parties applying for to be able to try different interactions with crypto and AI. We also have example demo apps. So if you want to go to AIwalletsdemo.com, we have an example where you can cook up a crypto wallet into your AI bot. Um, but we think that, like as I mentioned earlier, we think there are three different types of use cases, which is that humans are paying AIs, and that's one way in which you can use crypto. Crypt, uh, AI agents need to be able to pay people to do certain micro tasks or tasks for them as they get summary. So as an example, I need to be able to summarize down the uh, feedback of 100 different people. 
I could go reach out to them. Each of those hundred people as an AI agent, I could pay them all in crypto. And then I could summarize that back to the original question that I got. And lastly is this crypto to crypto example, which is that one crypto agent is very, very specialized in one set of tasks, but it needs other information. Um, and so we think that this is just going to keep growing and probably all three of those have a tremendous amount of growth ahead of them. Now, in that article I referenced, Armstrong poses the question, how big will the AI to AI economy be in a few years from now? Now, the integration of AI and crypto has been getting a lot of buzz recently. In fact, in June, Bitwise Asset Management forecasted that crypto and AI could add a collective $20 trillion to the global economy by the end of the decade. Ben Eck also sees the potential of the merging of AI and crypto. In February, the global investment manager released its crypto AI revenue predictions, forecasting revenue will reach $10.2 billion by 2030 in its base case. What's your outlook, given you work in both the crypto and AI spaces? Yeah, I, I would just say is that I think it's going to be very hard to say concrete numbers. We are seeing a tremendous amount of one activity in this space with tons of different builders building in AI and building in crypto, which is a really, really good sign. And two is that we're seeing real use cases be solved. Often in crypto, we talk about what are the utility use cases that are coming next? And this is one ecosystem where we absolutely see utility very, very early on. So I think I would just candidly say, like, my, like, my guess is as good as um, anyone's, but I, I would say most likely that this is going to be a, a bigger and bigger part of our, the industry. In a nutshell, what is Coinbase's AI strategy? So Coinbase has an AI strategy all across the board, and we're doing everything from AI agents that let you answer customer support questions to be able to uh, be able to launch an app very quickly with just asking a few questions and you get a bunch of different code back. Those are different examples. I personally spoke, focus on the Coinbase developer platform. So I really focus on developers and what are their needs. So exactly building really quickly without having to know all the details of code is one really good example of that. And another really big part is enabling the tools, APIs, wallets, nodes that AI, wall, uh, that AI agents need to be able to use the crypto ecosystem. Now you are in fact the product lead of the Coinbase developer platform, which gives builders access to tools and infrastructure available for building on-chain apps and integrations. What else can people expect from the platform in the near future? Yeah, we are incredibly bullish first on the crypto industry. But I think if I look at pretty candidly at our industry, blockchain development is hard. It can be painful. There's security risks to be worried about. It can take time to build versus other parts of the um, programming landscape. And so really our goal, really this is Coinbase's vision in general, is to make things really simple. You see that in our trading apps, but you also see that in our developer platform. Two is to make it trusted so that security and other sets of decisions are thoughtfully made in our products. And three is that we think there's real connectivity with different ecosystems out there. For example, the base um, L2 ecosystem. And so in terms of the things that are coming, I'll just maybe walk through two or three examples of what we have. One is um, an example called OnChain Kit. And what OnChain Kit does is it makes it a matter of minutes you can build an on-chain application. So for example, we have these on-chain applications, DeFi, NFTs, et cetera. Those often take weeks, months to be able to build. With on-chain kit, you can go in a few lines of code in a few minutes, be able to launch an application. That's like one example. Another example is just primitive technology that we've talked about, like wallets. Wallets is one of the most foundational building blocks in crypto. And we offer everything from a smart wallet, which lets end users be able to access the blockchain ecosystem, but it also uh, an on-chain ecosystem, but we also have things like API wallets that developers can be able to access. So what I'm really excited about is that no matter your skill level, whether you have very little developer experience, but you want to build something, which there are a lot of people out there today, or if you're really, really deep in this, but need certain specialized infrastructure, that's what Coinbase Developer Platform can provide. Namil Dalal, product lead of the Coinbase Developer Platform. Thank you very much for your comprehensive insight into AI and everything you're doing on the platform. Thank you so much, Talia. It's been a pleasure to be on.